and welcome to the Loot Drop. Today we're going to talk about Mario Rabbids, the Nintendo Direct Mini, and Cuphead! up more of cup harry later first nintendo saved their best announcements for after not e3 in a recent nintendo direct they showed off a bunch of new games but more on those later because the most important thing they showed off was mario and rabbit sparks of hope there's some big changes to the best turn-based strategy game that isn't into the breach with movement now free instead of grid based you can run around within your character's bounds before using your weapon each turn, which means I'll be playing rabbits like I play soccer, which is just slide tackling everyone non-stop. Bowser's in as a teammate, which begs the question, will there be a rabbit Bowser? Speaking of teams, it looks like you don't have to have Mario on your team this time around, so team comp can be a little more rabbit heavy. I don't know what it is about tactics games that I love so much. I think it's got something to do with heaps of people always coming up to me and telling me that uh, I'm tactless. So tactics games let me, you know, build up my tact a bit. That's not what tactless means. Shut up, moustache. Anyway, uh, Sparks of Hope comes out October 20th and I, <coughs> I feel like I'm <coughs> gonna be sick that day. <coughs> Months away, why are you talking? Shut up, moustache. All right, we got that out of the way. Now we can talk about the rest of the Direct. Now, obviously there are way too many games for me to talk about individually, so that's why I picked three games and I'm gonna give you three reasons why I'm excited about them. Persona 5 Royal is finally coming out on Switch October 21st, and even though it's already stolen my heart twice on PlayStation, I'll probably let it infiltrate my mind palace one last time. Here are my three reasons. The aesthetic steez. For a game that came out six years ago, it's still fresh. Arguably fresher than games released now. Turn-based RPG, that's the opposite of mind-numbing. Mind-sensitizing? The Royal Edition introduced quality of life changes and a massive amount of new content that most enhanced re-releases don't even come close to. I play both Persona 5 Classic and Persona 5 Royal, and for a game that has a playtime of like 100 hours, I absolutely breezed through it. Oh, I've been waiting for a Mega Man Battle Network remaster revitalization for years, and now they've finally done it. All six mainline games and their versions will be available to play in the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Three reasons. The Battle Network series has an incredibly charming story. You play as a kid called Lan and you destroy viruses and save the planet by jacking into cyberspace with your net navvy, Mega Man. Tile-based combat. Last time it was available was on the Wii Shop in like 2016, I mean, come on. The nostalgia train continues with, Jordan, with Return to Monkey Island, a brand new installment in the 33-year-old franchise. And it's got the original series creator, the hilarious Ron Gilbert. Ronnie Gills is back. Three reasons. The art style looks so good and it feels like a nice spin on the classic visuals. The main voice actors are back. So if you close your eyes, it almost feels like you're back in the 90s. You know what? The world needs more point and click games. Yeah, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go on record to say it. They're just so fun and they're pretty tough. There were a heap of games announced, but those were the three that I was most excited for. And honestly, between those games and rabbits, I'm just excited to have a good reason to dust off my Switch. I made this puppet, <clears throat> sorry. I made this puppet because remember in that Cuphead DLC announcement trailer that had the puppets? And I, I figured, oh, I don't really have anything else to do today. Anyway, a lot of people reckon video games journalists don't know how to play games and I'm here to play Cuphead the Delicious Last Course to prove you all wrong. All right, let's boot it up. Now we're doing a high noon hoopla with this cow and some deadly oil. Ooh. All right, uh, yeah. uh, vulture, vulture, lasso miss, parry. Oh God, okay. Don't you hate it when a cactus gets lassoed and rakes you across the face? Don't you hate that? <laughs> Dynamite! Bit of an old reference. He's hoovering. What's he vacuuming? Not old Harry Jordan. <laughs> I'm safe. Get it? I'm safe! Good super attack! Okay. Sometimes you whiff. Sometimes you whiff. Oh, God. All right. Second phase. What a wiener. Uh, oh. All right, I feel like the desert was throwing me off. I'm gonna go into the little snow cult scuffle. All right, 
The old uh, ice witch wizard. <laughs> Not my curve bullets. Took this from the cow. <laughs> oh, tarot reading. Uh, future prediction: death. Little snow devils. Uh! Okay, dude's easy. Dude's easy. <laughs> oh, snow friend. Oh, oh, he's cute. No, oh, he's not cute. Oh, he's awful. Beer fridge. Put down my drink. Oh, All right. One more. Gnome way out. Let's go. All right. Oh, oh, look at his mouth. You need, you need some lister in, bro. All right. Oh, puppets, eh? Puppets? <laughs> oh, sorry, my brothers and sisters. I don't want to shoot you, but I have to. God. Get the devil, get the devil, get the jester. The devil with the jester. Get the jester, get the devil. Barry. Okay. Uh, uh, devil, devil, devil. God. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe they were right. Maybe they were right. Game journalists can't play games. Well, how about you try playing video games with cardboard arms and a paper controller? I'm going to get paid enough for this. No, no, no. It's official. Netflix games are good now. Bye bye Stranger Things. No one cares. Because Point Be and Into the Breach are here to claim the throne. On July 19th, Into the Breach Advanced Edition DLC will be a free update to the Switch and PC versions. But there's also a mobile version releasing that day, and they are exclusive to Netflix. The Advanced Edition adds new mechs, new weapons, new missions, and a new reason why I have to call in sick. <coughs> if you've never played Into the Breach, I've got three questions. Who are you? Why not? And how dare you? It's the best tactical turn-based strategy game ever made. XCOM? Throw it in the bin. Fire Emblem? Bin. Mario and Rabbids? Throw it in the recycling because I'm actually pretty keen. As if you didn't want to exterminate aliens in a mech warrior power suit in a bid to save the planet from total annihilation. And there's time travel. That's the look drop. <laughs> coming out this week, we've got Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series coming out on all platforms and Arcade Get It on PlayStation and Xbox. Now that the dust of the announcement season has settled, we have to go into that waiting period while we wait for the big end of year game. So let me know in the comments below what you're most looking forward to and I'll let you know if it's gonna be better than Into the Breach. Hint, it's not. <sighs> Papa Dari, wish you were real. No! Ah! Uh, uh, it's all crux. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs>